Hey guys, this is Sergeant Phoenix back in the action, and as you can see, this is a re re upload of the Mecha Phantom B starter deck that I have uploaded before. Now, for some reason, on the previous video, the, the audio wouldn't, there was just no volume whatsoever, there was just static. And I think I figured out how to get how to get rid of the static and obviously just get the volume back. So I'm obviously going to re watch this and then just make sure. So let's start. So as usual, it's monster spells and traps in the next, in the extra deck, and then I'll explain my personal opinions on the deck and a little about it. So first we have Mecha Phantom B Stealth Ray. Stealth Ray. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, special summon one Mecha Phantom B token. Now, pretty much all the Mecha Phantom B monsters have this summoning effect, and they're all exactly the same. So I'm just going to skip the types and just go on to what they are. Because you'll not, they'll all be the same. They're all machine types, wind attributed, level threes with zero attack and defense. This card's level is e increased by the total num levels of all Mecha Phantom Beast tokens you control. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per turn, you contribute one token, then target one spell trap card on the field, destroy that target. I would always say just keep. One of these, but you can replace this with other cards. I mainly added it just for the defense, and uh, you never, and you never know when the effect could actually come under if you do have a token out on the field that's not involving it, summoning it. Now next we have Black Falcon. When this card declares an attack, special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token. Same like again, I'm skipping. This card level. This card's level is increased by the total levels of all Mecha Phantom Beast to tokens you control. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per turn during either player's turn, you contribute one token, then target one monster your opponent controls. Change that target to defen face up defense, face up defense position, which is straight away. It's excellent. Because, you know, then again, you're getting rid of some cards if it's got a weak defence but a strong attack, like a zomb like some most of your zombies. Now we have one copy of a tuna monster, and this Mecha Phantom Beast is called Impa Impalia. Impala. It cannot be used as a synchro material cannot be used as a synchro material monster except for the synchro summon of a a machine monster. The other me the other synchro material monster or monsters are mecha phantom beast monsters in your hand or in your field. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card and special summon one mecha phantom beast token, same as the others. Now you could get rid of this card, you could replace it. There are there is another Tuner out there that I've not put in this deck, but I do have other tuners in this deck, and there's only one other tuner here. There is an up, there's an owl one which I am going to replace when I improve this deck a little further. So it just helps summon out the tokens and then helps summon out more monsters. So this tuner monster's name is Warb Warblurin, and its effects are. If this card is sent to the graveyard for a synchro summon of a machine type monster, special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token. For the rest of the turn, also for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon any other monsters except wind monsters, so wind attributed. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You contribute one other Mecha Phantom Beast monster, increase this card's level by one. You can only use one Mecha Phantom Beast Walburn effect per turn and only once that turn. Which, you know, it's an okay card, but like I said, there's another Synchro out there. You could replace this and possibly even this one if you wanted. If you wanted to... Now we're up to the other monsters. Three copies of Har Lord. If it's how you think, Harry Layard. Yeah. Once per turn, when a monster, 
when a monster or monsters you control is tributed to activate a card or effect other than this card's special summon one mecha phantom beast token. This card's level is increased by the to by the control by the total levels of all mecha phantom beast tokens you control. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per turn, you contribute one token, special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast monster from your hand. So straight away, it's a good card. It's got a good attack and it's got a decent effect, so you can summon out the other one, other Mecha Phantom Beast in your hand if you want, didn't want any tokens out. If, let's say you had a spare token, it could help. Next we have Terra Wolf. And for some reason, this is actually one of my favourite designs for Mecha Phantom Beast. I don't know why. I do like wolves and, yeah, I guess it could be because of helicopters as well. If this card is normal summoned, special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token. This card's level is increased by the total levels of all Mecha Phantom Beast tokens you control. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per battle during the damage step, when this card battles an opponent's monster, quick effect, you contribute one token, this card gains... 800 attack until the end of this turn so straight away it's got a good effect to it not a big effect but it can still be really useful now we have a now this Mecha Phantom Beast monster is Eros Gwen. You could have three of these if you wanted. I've seen people use three copies of this in the decks and I've had a look. And it's an okay card and I'll explain why. Once per turn you can banish one Mecha Phantom Beast monster from your graveyard except Eros Gwen. Special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token. This card card's level is increased by the total levels of all Mecha Phantom Beast tokens while you control... A token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. And there's, you know, it doesn't say once... Yeah, it does say once per turn, sorry. So just in case you have a graveyard full of Mecha Phantom Beasts and you can't use them, you could just summon, summon a token that keeps this safe. You know, and then you could use other cards if you wanted. There's still a variety, there's a large variety of cards you can use to co put combos into these. But I built this more as a pure... Mecha Phantom Beast deck. Now the final monster, which is the top level 7, um, Carl, Griff Carl Griffin. Now I've only had two copies of this, is because it, the rank there is an Xyz monster in this, which is a Mecha Phantom Beast, and it's a rank 7. But there are other level 7s you can put on. I've seen people use machine, machine that Machine Fortress card. Like I said, there's a variety. There's a this deck's got a lot of potential. You contribute two Mecha Phantom Beast monsters to special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect of Me Mecha Phantom Beast Carl Griffin once per turn. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per turn, you can discard one. You can discard one Mecha Phantom Beast monster to special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token. So instead of tributing, it's discarding them. And you could have this on in all fairness, like if you didn't want to summon the Xyz, because it's got decent defense as well. And tokens protect it from effects involving traps and involving destroying them and battles. Now we're on to our spells. First, we have three. The three copies of quick of the quick spell scramble scramble. If your opponent's monsters on the field outnumber your non-token monsters on the field, tribute any number of Mecha Phantom Beast tokens, special summon an equal number of Mecha Phantom Beast monsters from your deck. Shuffle them into the deck during the end phase, and you can only activate one scramble scramble per turn. This could prove Ande, mainly because, and I'm gonna say mainly. If you built this deck as an Xyz base or and a Synchro base, you could immediately then summon out a good variety if you've got nothing but tokens out and your opponent's got, like, say, a field full of monsters. Now, next we have one copy of Vertical Landing, another quick spell. 
Tribute any number of wind monsters except tokens. Special summon an equal number of Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. And obviously you can only activate vertical landing per turn. And it all meets the same effect, same requirements as all the other tokens. This could prove handy playing a combo. Like I'm saying, you could. Let's say you've got three Mecha Phantom Beasts. And you've got... And your port's got the five monsters, you contribute to them, summon two tokens. Scramble, scramble next. Get rid of them all, summon out a large variety, summon out even more monsters. That are prob probably a lot stronger. So there's like there's a com there's all sorts you could do with this deck, like I've said. Now next I've put in Token Sunday. Now this could be helpful. Mainly because just in case you've got nothing but tokens out, you could use certain cards like these. I've got another token card out. And I'll, and I'll show you. And, and it's a trap. Destroy. So, so token Sunday's effects are. Destroy all tokens you control. Then destroy cards up on the field. Up to the number of tokens. Destroyed by this effect. So let's. So obviously three are destroyed. You can destroy three of your opponent's cards. It doesn't specify targeting. So straight away. Your opponent's cannot be targeted for card effect. Is useless. But if it obviously it. If it can't be destroyed by, destroyed by card effects, then, you know, you can't. Now, next is possibly the most important spell card in any machine deck. Limiter Removal. Because it, because everyone uses it, and you can't deny that. Anyone who's got a machine deck just pretty much uses this card because it is bloody helpful in any situation. Reason being, not because it's a quick spell, because of its effect... Double the attack of all machine monsters you currently control until the end of this turn. During the end phase of this turn, destroy those monsters. Now, I've used this myself. I mean, this is in ancient gears. I use this in ancient gears. I've used the. You could use this in the uh, dark cyber dark deck. There's, I mean, there's all sorts of combos you can use. With it, uh, and limiter removal is just the best card to use for any machine deck. I'd say. Now next we have Swords of Revealing Light. Now everyone should know what this card is. If you don't, you you need to rewatch. You need to start watching Yu-Gi-Oh. Flip all monsters your opponent controls face up. This card remains on the field for three of your opponent's turns. While this card is face up on the field, monsters your opponent controls cannot declare an attack. Now up to traps, and there's. There's a good there's a good amount of traps, let's just say that. That's all I can say, there's a good amount of traps. First we have three copies of Sonic Boom. During your turn, target one Mecha Phantom Beast monster on the field. This turn its attack becomes double its original attack. It is unaffected by other spell and trap card effects. Also, if it is attack if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. If this Effect is applied to that monster. Destroy all machine type monsters you control. During the end phase of th this turn, other monsters. Yeah, other monsters cannot declare an attack the turn you activate this card. It's an okay card. You could use it just in case you've got no other re reason and you need your monster's got defense monsters and the only way to deal any damage is to destroy. To destroy them. Now next we have Aerial Recharge. This is a card I would say every person has to put in Mecha Phantom Beast because it affects once per turn. You can special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token. The only downside is during each player's end phase, tribute a token on Mecha Phantom Beast monster, or send this card to the graveyard. Now you could, and this is what I'm being honest. You could come up with an. You could come up with an idea to keep cycling it, this card. Now you don't need three copies. You could just use one copy. Or you could use two. I would say the highest number I would say is two. Just in case you lose one and you need a backup. But the next card is for the tokens like I mentioned. Token Stampede. A continuous trap. And I got three copies of this just in case. Because it's a... Because it's a fit. It what it does for the tokens is not bad. All tokens in attack position gain one thousand attack. Also, they cannot be destroyed by battle. 
this helps a lot, let me tell you that. And I'm going to explain why for anyone else, but that's a useless card. The reason this could help in any top with these, because Mecha Phantom Beast, zero attack and defense. And let's say you've got nothing but tokens out, nothing else to help it. You've got, your opponent's got monsters with 2,300 and you've got three of these out. Let's say your locker. That's 3,000 per token. And even if they've managed to summon a monster powerful enough to destroy, to attack them, even though you'll take a little damage, these are protect you. Can't destroy, can't be destroyed by, tokens can't be destroyed by battle. So imagine having two of these plus Mecha Phantom Beast plus the tokens out. You've got a decent defense already. Now, next we've got Mirror Force. A classic card. I can't deny that. Classic, classic card. When an opponent's monster is stood to close an attack, destroy all your opponent's mon monsters in attack position. So, basically, like I say, attack basically reflects it back against the attack and just. And just instead destroys all their attack position monsters. Doesn't negate the attack, the attack. It just, but it just reflects it back. Now next we've got Wabaku. Now this card, I've discovered that it's not a real one, but I know the effects of Wabaku. Wabaku's effects are basically make all battle damage from an. Involving monster, your monster inflicted by monsters on your opponent's side of the field, zero. So you don't take any damage, and your monsters can't be destroyed by battle. It's basically a cancel effect, but I am going to replace this card when I get the real one. When I get the real one, because I only just noticed it was in a real one. Now rise of full height, target one face up monster on the field, double its defense. But its defense becomes zero at the end of this turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one monster you control. Your opponent's monsters cannot attack for the rest of the turn except the attack that to accept to attack that monster. And you can only activate rise of full height per turn. This can prove helpful just in case your your opponent's force got monsters that are weaker than the twenty five hundred Carl Griffin. And you need to banish that stopping from attacking your tokens just in case you don't have token stampede and stuff. It kept, keeps them safe for that turn, I would say. Now, next we have Curse of Darkness. You don't need to have this card in this deck. I would say replace this if you get the chance. I've only had this in just to fill in it because I just needed one extra card and I don't have any other cards available. It's a continuous trap with this effect. Each time a spell card is activated, immediately after it after it resolves, that the player that activated it takes a thousand points of damage. Now, that can prove helpful against certain opponents, let's say those who rely on spell counters for like Dark Magician and Buster Blade, or like the skilled cards and everything. Now, next we have Pulse Mines. If your opponent, if you control a machine monster, which obviously you will, because they're all machines. Change your opponent's attack position monsters, if any, to defense position. Also, until the end of this turn, if a monster or monster is normal or special summoned to your opponent's field, change them to defense position. This could help a lot. I mean, I use this in the Knights of Annoy deck, if you don't know it. And you can have a look at that deck if you'd like. It's a good, it's actually a good starter deck, I'm not going to lie there. You have used it, I've even done a duel with it with a friend. Where I played Trudge's Pursuit deck and he played the Knights of Adai deck, but then we swapped. And now we're on the extra deck, I might as well show all of them. So first we have this, the two Synchros, the Xyz, and the Link. These are like little extras that came out, especially that one. I mean, that's the latest card, uh, card put into the uh, put into the game. You have your counter as the, the latest tool. Now first we have the Synchro. Condor. Concoruda. Concoruda I think it's. Now this just needs one tuner and one or not. More non-tuner. Non-tuner monsters. Tokens you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. 
If this card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or card effect, and sent to the graveyard, you contribute all tokens you control, then target one level for a lower mecha phantom beast monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. I would say get more of these if you can. Definitely get more of these. It's a good it's a good card, it protects the tokens, I would say, if, just in case you're on a token stampede and everything. Now where's the monster? The beast of the deck, in my opinion. Mecha Phantom Beast, Jackalusslin. Now, it requires one Mecha Phantom Beast tuner plus one or non tuner Mecha Phantom Beast monsters. So this needs Mecha Phantom Beast straight away, no matter what. Even if you don't want want Mecha Phantom Beast, you need this. You need to put this card with it. When this card is synchro summoned, you contribute. Mecha Phantom Beast tokens up to the number of cards your opponent in your opponent's hand. Randomly discard car cards from your opponent's hand equal to the number of tributed monsters. So straight away, if your opponent's relying on the hand, like say Exordia, you're getting rid of the pieces for him. Other Mecha Phantom Beast monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's by your opponent. You can set one quick play, one quick spell directly from your deck. So straight away, it's a good, it's a good card. So just to get, and I would say get more of these immediately. That's the best way I say, it, get them immediately, because it's it works for the deck, and it's and you can do a lot. Like I said, this deck endless possibilities. Scrap recyclers definitely a card I've seen used in, it. and I can't deny it is a good card for that deck. For this deck, sorry. Now we have the Xyz monster, Mecha Phantom Beast Dras Dracosark. This needs two level sevens, like I said. That's why I have two levels. That's why I have two of the car griffins. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, special summon two Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. Again, meeting the requirements. While you control the token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Now, once per turn, you contribute one Mecha Phantom Beast monster, then target one card on the field, destroy that car target. You can you cannot attack during the turn. You activate this effect. I wouldn't see a lot of people using this effect, but, however, I have to be honest, I can definitely see how people constantly using it, the summoning it, of summoning two Mecha Phantom Beasts, because straight away, if you've even got two, you're set. Now we've got... The Link Free Mecha Phantom Beast Aeroradon. This needs a minimum of two machine monsters. So you could have So you could have a Link to Machine Monster and then a Mecha Phantom Beast, then they just use them for the free. Like we already know how Lincoln works. And I've done a how to how to play Yugo on Lincoln. Now, if this card is Link summoned. You can activate this effect. Special summon three Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. Also, you cannot link summon for the rest of the turn. Once per turn, you contribute up to three monsters, then apply one of these effects based on the number attributed. Now, one tribute, destroy one card on the field. Two tributes, special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast monster from the deck. Three, add one trap card. From your from your graveyard to your hand, and that's it. That is my starter deck on Mecha Phantom Beasts. Now, my personal opinion on this deck: it's an okay deck for a starter deck, but there are still a variety. There's a endless possibility with this deck. These decks are what you like, what I like to call the outcast decks. These are people, you know, decks that won't really be used in tournaments, but can still be quite interesting to use and uh, still have a lot of potential for the players who know how to use them correctly who do the homework and study them which is what i'm doing now i'm studying these decks i'm looking at other people's combinations i'm seeing what other people have done and i'm gonna see how i can improve on this deck and make it even better which is what anyone should do now overall i would class this as a tribute this is obviously a tribute based deck but it's based on summon but it's a summoner class, I would call it. Because it's built on summoning for both monsters and tribute and the tokens. And it's a, and it's also based on using 
and the primary purpose is to use the tokens so it can you so you can use all the cards variety of combos which is why i added token stampede and i would say straight away that using it, this card as well just in case is important would be just as important but there's still a number of token cards out there so i would look at anyone who is going to look at tokens you know, so like call Jama cards and possibly even this deck as well and give them a try. Tokens are good. I'm not going to lie. There are good token cards out there. But I would tell anyone, let's look at cards that are also help tokens as much as monsters because the tokens need to be protected just as much as the mon just as much as the monsters just in case you're not able to summon out your main monster. Like Such as, like I said, the, synch the base synchro like this one. So comment down below what you think of this deck. I mean, over, overall, I think it's a good deck. It's an okay deck to use. But until then, this is Sergeant Phoenix. Over and out.